Rumour has it the Callaway Edge set from Costco is back in stock in full force. Six months ago, I would have said it's a great purchase. Right about now, I don't think I'll touch it with a barge pole. And then the guys that got 60 stuck in their garage, they're not going to want to sit on £3,000 worth of equipment that might be worth 2000 or even 1500 in the next month or so. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon on my way to go to Costco. Gavin in my payment group tipped me off in the WhatsApp saying that Callaway Edge sets are back in stock at Costco which is a very interesting dynamic to everything that's going on, especially with the second hand market. My prediction is that everything's gonna very much drop and stock and supply is gonna be in full force for 2022. Maybe not your custom fit stuff or your club fitting where they have to build it and there's a process, but I think just the standard stock, like on the shelf, standard drivers, package sets, irons, wedges, for the whole of 2022, I think they would have outsourced, made sure that there's going to be enough for demand. But coming into this time of year where it gets cold, it gets dark, not many people get time to play golf after work, for example. Therefore, the demand's coming down. I'm going to give you evidence of eBay auctions that used to go for twice the amount of money three months ago. And now there's just no uptake. There's no demand. There's no people paying just as much for a second hand copy than a brand new one because they physically can't get hold of a brand new one for three months and therefore the summer or the season is then over if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new let's go over to costco and see if the rumor's true okay down here at costco big test time hopefully there is some in stock if there's no clubs actually in stock then this video is pretty much pointless because the only reason people have been able to sell these at such extortionate prices is because you weren't able to get hold of them and there's been quite a few reviews for example rick did a review on it earlier this year or maybe the start of last year therefore it's quite a popular brand callaway um uh, and with all the secondhand prices even the crap stuff let's talk like mizuno old irons that are going for 200 pounds even with the grooves burnt out pin clubs 250 50 pounds, 300 pounds for G5s, G10s, you name it. So actually six months ago, this was a great idea. You could go here, you could probably sell the putter, the Odyssey putter that comes with it for 100 pounds in itself. Um, uh, but times are changing and there's a lot of people that I've seen on Facebook or eBay. I've even tried to purchase in the past. I'll get, that in, I'll get into that in a minute. But when supply was so low, everything was going for extortionate amount of money um, uh, and this seemed like a viable option you're getting a driver a fairway hybrid irons and a putter but just under 500 pounds but for all those people that bought all of these i mean the cheeky ones just come in here take a photo of it and then put it on ebay and then when you buy it they come here buy it mark it up under a quid and then post it to you but there are a lot of people that came in and bought all of them because you know, they knew the demand was there that being said, I think a few of them have still got them left over, which means they're going to have to get rid of them quite cheaply because now you can just get them readily available if they have them in stock, that is. And I think that's just across the board. And now demand is coming down. I feel people are going to be cutting their costs just to get their money back as they don't know what they're going to be worth. A lot of people would have bought this edge set, package set. They'll probably want to upgrade, so they'll sell their second-hand ones for £250, £300. And then the guys that got six of these stuck in their garage, they're not going to want to sit on £3,000 worth of equipment that might be worth £2,000 or even 1500 in the next month or so so let's go inside let's go and have a look and um, uh, yeah see what we can find not gonna lie I was getting pretty worried for a moment because I was looking through all the golf stuff in the section down here this is all the stuff that you would have normally have seen and also you got like the Kirkland putters and you got the wedges the umbrellas um, uh, trolleys bags and I was thinking oh no they don't actually have any stock it's only online that you'd be able to get them all certain stores these would be interesting to obviously test um, uh, going forward vice golf balls 20 pounds for a dozen um, uh, so I might do that for a future video but I found it it's got its own stand it's down the very end here let me show you heavy supply back in stock three months ago four months ago five months ago I don't think there'd be many still standing actually a really cool display obviously has these which are going for a lot of money second hand it's actually got the gold set which i think is more desirable i think it just in general looks better when you're looking at um at like aesthetics point of view um obviously you get to see and look at the clubs and the whole point of this video is realistically this was all selling second hand for 600 pounds which meant it was a great buy to get hold of it because you could play the season with it and then pretty much sell it for exactly what you got it for when you want to upgrade the bag 
I don't think that's the case now. And I mean, you can look, there's definitely scalpers on eBay. They're basically coming here, taking a picture of these and then still trying to sell them five, 600 pounds. Um, uh, as you can see at the top there, four, seven, eight, obviously three, nine, nine, but without VAT included. And you can see there's enough stock here, which means I think there's gonna be a lot of people at the moment that's got a lot of these that they bought three months ago, like 10 sets, sitting in their garage, thinking they're gonna make an easy 150 quid on top. Well, I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, obviously a good brand, good value, but I think for 500 pounds, I could definitely get you a better looking set going through the winter. So um, uh, yeah, it's interesting that the times have changed. On a side note for you guys that are looking for a GPS device, Golf Buddy, I've actually sold these in the past. Um, uh, quite good value. Um, uh, I mean, no one knows what's the most accurate out there because obviously everything's different. But if this puts you, I don't know, within like four yards for, what is it? 170 pounds, something like that, 180 pounds. All the courses come preloaded on it. You don't have to pay monthly subscription. Um, uh, again, if I had to go down the watch route, I wouldn't because I kind of like a laser. But if you're thinking about a watch or just a general GPS device in itself for Christmas um, uh, or going forward into winter, I think value for money, you can't really go past one of these in my opinion. And just to give you guys an idea of how much stock, and obviously this is just one Costco store, I mean, there's a lot here. I mean, it's probably five deep to the back there, obviously piled on top as well. And then you've got loads of other clubs mixed in, more boxes, and I imagine come warehouse wise, there'll be even more. So in terms of demand for these, it's definitely dropped. I don't think we would have seen this again. As I say, six months ago, I think this would have been a great buy because the irons themselves, I saw people sell these irons second hand for like 300 pounds. And now I think there's gonna be lots of people that had this set back six months ago. They'll wanna upgrade their bag. They'll wanna get something new. And then the fact that these can be, the fact these can be bought brand new for 470 means that the people that are selling them second hand won't get 300, 250 which means that people will put the price lower and then lower and then lower. And to be honest, if you get a set of these for 250 quid, or let's say, I don't know, 300, I think it's a good buy. But for close to 500 now, as I say, I'll show you some decent alternatives or um, uh, other clubs that you could definitely get for the same amount of money with a lot more quality. And when I say quality, I mean, uh, when you compare it to, I mean, let's be honest, like the PXG, for example, that the 0211 goes for, I don't know, 160, 180 second hand because it came out brand new at 205. I mean, rather than have this, it does look very basic. That can't cost more than 30 pounds to actually make itself. So if you think what the set's actually made up of, the irons at like retail go cost you 250, putters probably like 60, hybrid 50, fairway wood 50, driver 80. But for 205 pounds, even if you got, let's say 180, you got a PXG driver, 0211, which I'll show you some listings now. I mean, uh, the quality, the shaft, the grip, everything that's going into that club just will outdo this one. And obviously that's just one small example of a club that you could get for the same amount of money second hand, but with a lot more behind it in terms of value. It's so funny as well, because I actually tried to get hold of one of these sets probably about two months ago. I was offering 500 pounds on like for a second hand seller on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or whatever it is, no one would take it. 550 pounds, 580 pounds. And everyone just said, no, it's too cheap. Sorry, you can't do it. I've only got three left or two left or whatever. Whereas now I think it's different. I think a lot of people and a lot of people that are trying to resell them of going to have loads of stock. And the fact that you can now readily get available, not even, you don't even have to come here. You could go online and buy this set. And I wouldn't say it's an awful option. Obviously I've got the experience to tell you um, and know what a good deal for second hand prices. Um, uh, but now it's readily available and demand is only gonna drop through the winter. And I think there's gonna be even more package sets like Anisa's from Decathlon or whatever it might be. The price is only gonna go one way. So confirmed, multiple sets available in Costco itself. And why would I suggest six months ago that you should go and get hold of one of these if you could? Mainly because you would have been able to play with it. And if you didn't get on with it, or you didn't like the driver, or you didn't like the irons, you could sell it for pretty much the same amount of money pre-owned because you couldn't get hold of them brand new. That's the whole point of this channel. It's not necessarily knowing, and PXG is a great example of this. People used to pay 800 pounds for a PXG driver. And you're telling me five years later with all that R&D and marketing, they're now able to produce a driver for 200 pounds. That's just as good. Value is very much a perceptual kind of thing. The reason I love PXG at the moment is because they sell a drive at 205, though 211, and if you don't like it, you'll be able to get rid of it. No questions asked at 160 pounds. 
170 pounds, 180 pounds, because this is a value there. You can play golf with it. It's gonna create great ball speed, your great club head speed, forgiveness, you name it. This set, now I look back at it, when the hype was there and you couldn't get hold of it, and everyone wants something when they can't get hold of it, was actually very overpriced, but underpriced at the time. If you still got this Callaway head set, now and you're looking or thinking up grading i highly suggest putting it on ebay now rather than waiting a couple of months because i think the value for the irons that are maybe not the putter and that's the whole point of being kind of in the know i want you guys to be able to break even when you build your bag i want you guys to be able to have minimal losses i want you guys to actually turn a profit when you find a great deal try the club on the course this is important you go and try the club on the course do you like it no okay i'll sell it for slightly more or exactly what i bought for because i've got such a great deal on my set of golf clubs there's nothing worse than going and buying a brand new club even fitted and you lose 40 percent of that value when it doesn't work on the golf course or you don't like it or it doesn't do what you expected it to do because that just demoralizes you in the game itself this game's hard enough to tell you that you made a bad investment or bad purchase is only going to add to the kick in the teeth. So Simon, you said you could build a bag for the same amount of money on second-hand clubs. What exactly are there? Now, I did mention the PXG driver is a good shout, but it can be quite steep. It's still going to be close to that £200 mark, maybe 180 170 something like that, because it's such good value. There wouldn't be any reason for it to drop anymore. But I've made quite a few videos now of underrated clubs for this year and the reason I've made that is so you guys can go back and check I've made one on drivers for £100 Callaway XR for example great driver forgiving great shafts for £100 is it going to drop any more in value I highly doubt it irons I've done one for under £300 you could even find sets for £200 if you do a bit of digging wedges I've just done a recent video on underrated wedges and I categorize all of them into advanced beginner intermediate now if you're watching this video and you're thinking about building a bag you're probably going to be beginner to intermediate and that's why i've broken down what should you be looking for what's going for under value at the moment and what do i think is going to hold its price the best going forward for example pink glide wedges great beginner wedges i imagine you'll be able to find the originals three of them for 100 pounds callaway xr at the top of the bag the xr16 i should say 100 pounds again great forgiving driver for someone that's just starting if you want the draw bias one or you want the low spin one whatever it is is there and available Swix and irons ben hogan irons i've come out with multiple brands that i think are doing great in their particular categories and what companies do better than most as well as the ones that do hold their price or they're at the bottom we're here they've come out retail nosedive flatlined and these are the ones and the reason that i've made these videos so you can go and build your bags using what you think or where you think that your game actually is so therefore if you were to ask me simon i've got 500 pounds to spend what should i spend it on go and look at all those videos the drivers the irons the wedges i haven't done putters yet but Cle cleveland putters are very good value yes putters very good value life putters very good value for their money and i will be sure to do a putter video soon but you're starting to get the picture now the reason that these package sets did so well in the summer is because they served a purpose it allowed people to go out play the game we had so many new people into this game the difference now is it's cold it's wet it's dark some of those people probably fallen out of love with the game because now it's got difficult or they now can play tennis or football whatever it might be and therefore we're not going to have the same surge in golfers that we have seen in the last two years ever again don't get me wrong i think we're going to see a steady incline and we're going to still retain quite a lot of golfers but we're never going to see that surge which means i don't think that place is ever going to sell out again so guys there you have it costco trip another one done let me know what you think on my thoughts on the callaway ed set and why i won't buy it at the moment or probably ever again guys if you like this video leave it a like this will be for you catch you in a bit Morning Tom, hope you're doing well. Good afternoon mate, well done on the lesson and... Evening Alan, not a problem at all and... Testing the G30s and... Good afternoon gents, on my way to the lock up. Go and pick up the mirror on.